The question of whether plants can feel and have feelings is a topic that has intrigued scientists, researchers, and philosophers for many years. While plants do not possess a nervous system or a brain like animals, recent studies have revealed some fascinating aspects of their behavior that suggest they may have certain abilities to perceive and respond to their environment. Plants are incredibly adept at sensing and responding to various stimuli. They can detect changes in light, temperature, gravity, touch, and even the presence of other organisms. One remarkable example of this is phototropism, where plants grow towards sources of light to optimize their photosynthesis process. Similarly, gravitropism allows plants to grow against the force of gravity, ensuring their roots grow into the soil and their shoots reach upward. Plants also display responses to physical damage or stress. When a plant is injured, it can release chemical signals that alert nearby plants to potential threats. This mechanism, known as plant communication, helps neighboring plants prepare their defense systems against herbivores or pathogens, indicating a form of cooperation and collective awareness. Another fascinating aspect of plant behavior is their response to touch. When plants are subjected to mechanical stimulation, they can alter their growth patterns to cope with the changing environment. For instance, the Venus flight trap closes its trap in response to prey touching its sensitive trigger hairs, enabling it to capture insects as a means of sustenance. While these responses showcase plants' adaptability and ability to sense their surroundings, it is essential to differentiate between these reactions and emotions or feelings as experienced by animals. Emotions typically involve a conscious awareness of internal states, which requires a nervous system and brain. Unlike animals, plants lack these complex structures, and there is currently no scientific evidence to suggest that they experience emotions or feelings in the way that humans or animals do. Instead, plant behavior is predominantly governed by biochemical and physiological processes. Hormones and signaling molecules play critical roles in coordinating plant responses to external stimuli. These processes allow plants to survive, reproduce, and adapt to changing environmental conditions without possessing subjective experiences like emotions. In conclusion, while plants are undoubtedly remarkable organisms with an impressive array of responses to their environment, the evidence does not support the idea that they can feel or have feelings in the same way that animals do. The mechanisms that govern plant behavior are fundamentally different from the conscious experiences and emotions found in animals. Nevertheless, ongoing research continues to uncover new insights into the fascinating world of plant behavior, highlighting the wonders and mysteries of the natural world.